Hi there, Leisha Johnson with the North Lakeland Discovery Center bringing you your Discover at Home program for the week. This week we are going to be looking in our garden here at the Discovery Center and talking about the interesting life cycle of the monarch butterfly. In our Discover at Home series is something fun we've been doing throughout our time of closure here where our office is closed and our programming can't go on as we normally would like it to. Um, so each week we bring you fun new nature related topics and some fun information and new things for you to learn. So again, Again, this week we're going to be looking at the life cycle of the monarch butterfly and it is a unique life cycle and monarchs are pretty cool that they go through something called complete metamorphosis which means they have a four stage life cycle and so let's take a look at where that begins and what those four stages are the first thing that a female monarch butterfly looks for is a patch of milkweed to lay her eggs now they'll lay about 800 eggs at a time, but only one per plant. So they do need a lot of milkweed to lay those eggs. Now here at the Discovery Center, we have our milkweed garden and there are over 100 species of milkweed in North America. Here we've got four different species represented. We have our common milkweed, which is where you will find a lot of monarchs flying around and finding eggs and caterpillars. We also have our swamp milkweed, which is much taller, normally found on the edges of rivers and streams. Down here, this bright orange, this is our butterfly weed, which is a great um, native plant here that attracts hummingbirds and butterflies, but is a part of the milkweed family. We've got a nice little bumblebee enjoying that, some wonderful pollinators here. And on the end of our garden, we have what we call world milkweed, and they get, a, they get small white flowers on top there that haven't quite bloomed out. So the female monarch will look for a milkweed plant and they will lay an egg on the underside of one of the top leaves is when that baby emerges. Their mouth parts are very small and this, these bottom kind of bigger, tougher leaves are hard for them to chew on. So if you're looking for eggs, look underneath these top small leaves. Monarchs are in the egg stage for about three to six days. The eggs are underneath the top leaves and are yellowish in color with tiny ridges. Very hard to find. When the monarch caterpillar first emerges out of the egg, its first meal is its eggshell. They are extremely tiny and have little black heads as you can see in this video how small this newborn caterpillar really is. They spend about two weeks eating and growing. Here the caterpillar is compared to the size of a quarter. You can see how small they really are. Here are four different caterpillars. Can you find them all in different sizes? They spend those two weeks eating as much milkweed as they can and growing 25,000 times in size. That would be the size of a fifth grader turning into the size of a school bus in two weeks. They also poop and they sleep. Those are the three things these caterpillars do. After the two weeks, a caterpillar is about two inches in length and something starts to happen to their body and they have to go find a place to hang upside down. Their insides start to liquefy as they begin to transition into the third stage. They find a safe place to create a silk button that they hang from from their back legs into this what they call the J shape. They'll hang here for about 20 hours and then something really crazy starts to happen. They straighten out. Their skin splits off and the chrysalis is revealed underneath. It takes a few hours for the chrysalis to harden and look like these two. There's gold on the top and a few gold dots on the bottom. The word chrysalis comes from the Greek word chrysos, meaning gold. Inside this chrysalis, the caterpillars are turning into monarch butterflies. The chrysalis will become clear after about 12 days and you can see the monarch inside and then it splits open at the bottom and the monarch drops out. Here on the left, a monarch has already emerged from this chrysalis. When they first emerge, their abdomen is very large and their wings are very tiny. They must hang upside down for many hours while they pump fluid from their abdomen into their wings so their wings can grow and then harden and then they can fly away. One of the first things they look for is food. This monarch here has found some yummy nectar on the flowers of a milkweed plant. They use their proboscis or their mouthpiece to get the food that they need. It's easy to tell the difference between a male and female 
Here, look at the bottom wings. They just have black bars. That's the female. In this photo, the male's scent glands are circled in red. They use these to attract females. During the summer months here in northern Wisconsin, the adult monarchs live to be about two to six weeks old. They mate, lay eggs, and die. That is their goal. Butterflies that emerge late August into September, actually, they do not mate, they do not die, they migrate. They go down to Mexico to the Oyamel fir forest where they will hang out, kind of hibernate all winter long. They get there around November. When March comes, they start moving north. They will then mate, lay eggs, and die. Those babies will start to migrate even further north, laying eggs, and the cycle starts all over when they arrive here in the north woods. It's pretty incredible that these little critters can fly all that way. Thank you so much for joining me for our Discover at Home this week. If you'd like more information about the Discovery Center, upcoming programs we have, or ways you can support us in our mission to connect people to the natural world, please visit discoverycenter.net. We'll see you next time.